Hello, everybody. Thank you so very much for joining me. It's outstanding to have you. My name is Chris, otherwise known as Wolfie, and we are live once again with Massively Overpowered's OPTV. And it has been a while since I've been in this cockpit. <laughs> we are back in Elite Dangerous. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I, uh, as that starting plate probably led, may have led you to believe I was going to try to do some stuff in Odyssey, or at least try to, but sitting around idle in a space station, the game just crashed to desk. So I took that as a sign, right? I was like, okay, right. Things have not improved, so we are playing Horizons instead. <laughs> Stream was so sound on, I just got a jump scare. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to scare you there. Didn't mean to do a spook there, Tannic. I apologize. <laughs> but yes, we are here in Horizons simply because Odyssey is not working right now, <laughs> or at least not working for me. I don't know if it's because it's just literally just busted or. Or maybe my GPU fans need to be dusted out. I still should do that anyway, just to be sure. I mean, you know, just regular basic maintenance. But anyway, right. So, um, I'm here because I have a question I want to answer myself. Um, a very important one. Something I have a topic I haven't really broached. Um, uh, and that is, um. Do I want to continue keeping this game on my hard drive, right? Um, I want to like I want to just rediscover what's good about Elite Dangerous because it's easy to complain, right? It's easy to focus on the negative, like and whole digital like identities have been built solely around the thought that you should just be angry at video games all the time at every single slight that a game developer does ever forever ever right harsh moderation yeah <laughs> but uh yeah i just oh hey crasher thank you very much for that taco hug my friend good to see you uh just uh, ultimately i i i want to remind myself the good stuff about this game the last time I wrote about this game and played it at any sort of great levels of depth, I um, I was starting to appreciate what was wrong with Odyssey and just generally feeling malaise about the game. So, so this is my mission today, or at least a little bit, however long I may this stream may be, and this could be a short one. I will admit this is very possible to be a, a quick one. I mean, these streams usually are no longer than an hour anyway, uh, on average. But I still want to know, is this game something I really want to dig into? Like, I could, I can ignore Odyssey entirely. That's an option available to me. That's an option I had to take because it crashed. The game crashed on me. Like, um... And I and I and I like aspects of Odyssey too, like the FPS gaming. All right, so the FPS stuff, the first-person shooting things, I admit is not like typical of the grander, elite, dangerous experience. <laughs> but I kind of didn't hate it though. Like the actual gameplay of it, it was fine. I I enjoyed it. It wasn't like the most incredible FPS experience ever created by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not gonna play around like that. But it was a lot more fun than a lot of folks supposed, you know? Uh, I, but I just didn't feel like... I just didn't really want to go through the extremely long grind of of getting my weapons and armor upgraded. And long grinds are Elite Dangerous as stock and trade, right? That's just how it do. But, um, but those were long, even for this game, man, you know? So, anyway... Let's uh let's continue on. Let's uh let's let's figure out what is good about this game. Let's see if if I can just reinvigorate myself, right? 
I'm going to be honest with you. So this is probably a little more of a personal stream than is what is normally done for OPTV. So I hope you will pardon me in doing so. And, and I hope that you'll kind of like stick it out with me. Ride this out with me if you can. We'll see how this goes. Oh, we have a community goal going on. Of course we have a community goal. All right. So, so what do we got going on here? Uh, let's see. What's, what is this week's con community thing going on here anyway? Delivering aluminum computer components, power generators, and titanium. Okay. Well, that's easy, but not something that I think anybody wants to really watch. I mean, I love the heck out of space trucking, but um, watching me do uh, loops from one system to another is probably not compelling <laughs> digital television, right? Um, let's see what we've got here. Hang on a second. Uh, there was a mission I saw. Not a courier job. What was it? Boom time delivery of 82 units of non-lethal weapons. Hang on a second. Let's see. MetaQuest had their showcase today. Showed off some amazing games. Ooh. Oh, I will definitely have to look into that. I did not know that they were doing a showcase. Okay. Cool. All right. All right, where am I right now? So I am at Persephone. I have to convey goods from Akiyama Vision and Avalon. All right, that's just a regular, just a regular courier trip, right? That's nothing really. Electronic mixtape for Beat Saber. A Dara Day Sandstorm is on the track list. Oh no. Uh, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I genuinely should not be surprised, but hey, you know. Hmm, what should I do? There's courier jobs, there's... Uh, yeah, that's a wing mission, that's what I thought that meant, yeah. Ghostbusters VR, excuse me? Hold up, wait a minute, wait, wait excuse me? There's a Ghostbusters VR game? Y'all gonna have to wait a second while I look this up. <laughs> Give me a minute. Give me a heckin' minute right now. The stop the stream, stop the presses, stop Elite Dangerous, hang on a minute. <laughs> oh, it's a teaser trailer, okay. That's a trailer. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is an, there's an IGN. All right, what do we got here? A uh, new Ghostbusters VR game announced for MetaQuest 2 for Sony Pictures Virtual Reality and Endgames. Well, we didn't see much more besides a short cinematic trailer... It's great to know that we'll be soon experiencing the beloved franchise in a new way. Players will run their very own Ghostbusters HQ in a new city, San Francisco, and solve a deep mystery across a new chapter in the Ghostbusters universe. It supports four-player co-op, so one question remains, who are you going to call? <laughs> yeah, so that's in the works. We got a Resident Evil 4, The Mercenaries. That's out today. So that's in VR. Another Walking Dead game that I could not care about. A VR NFL game. Among Us VR. <laughs> and this sloth robot teddy and shell games have revealed that Among Us VR will arrive during the holiday of 2022. We got a much better look at the game following its reveal at the Game Awards of 2021. Features all the backstabbing goodness fans have come to expect from the series. It makes a, it looks a lot more intense than VR. Uh, Moss Book 2. Oh, awesome. I've been, I've been meaning to pick up Bo Moss. Bone Lab. Uh, a follow-up to Bone Lab, a uh, Bone Stress Level Zero has announced Bone Lab. A follow-up to the Bone Lab features a next-level interaction engine with near-boundless player freedom. It also has a new story. Players will need to escape execution in a mysterious underground lab in a world that reacts just like the real one. Interesting. And Cities VR? What? While it's not a one-to-one -one port, Cities VR will help players build the city of their dreams and see in a way they've never been able to before. Wow. Okay, and that's in April 2022. There's Beat Saber. Uh, Red Matter 2. Um, uh, 
Aspire to. Oh, that's got some multiplayer going on to it. Okay. Narrative-driven adventure runes magis. Yeah, say these VRs next week on the 28th. Yep. Um, runes magis will let players wield magic in VR and give them the chance to grow from an office wizard into a powerful spell weeding magis in a narrative-driven adventure that will send players deep below the city of Grand Amnes. Rune magis will also feature 26 fully voice quests with voice talents from those like Naomi Ozara, Ai Maeda, and Eiji Takemoto. Ah... Cool. That's neat. Wow. Right. Beg your pardon, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I was not. I did not know that there is a office wizard. No, 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 not, 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 not office wizard. No. Um. Why would I want to? Just. Uh, assassinate deserter. Okay. Need you to necessitate the Zero Laura Ryan from CD53136. Scan the nav beacon to CD53. And locate the target signal source. Collect your reward from Persephone. Alright. That's possibly something. <laughs> no, it's not Office Wizard. The game is <laughs> it's not <laughs> The game is called Ruins Magis. Um <laughs> Office Wizard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's I'm sorry, that was very amusing. I want to be an office wizard. <laughs> Why would I want to do an assassinate a known pirate? Okay. I don't know what an office wizard is. I did I say office wizard? I'm sorry, I'm confused. Uh that's another assassination contract. Illegal black box operations. <laughs> Tech support. Yes, there you go. That's what an office wizard is. Exactly. Tech support. That's precisely it. So Welsh Fox? I don't know, but uh, I'm pretty sure Welsh Fox is not tech support. Um, <laughs> I mean, he's an extremely smart cookie, don't get me wrong, but I don't think he's tech support smart cookie. Oh, gosh, what should I do? Hmm. I thought there was a mission that it involved something else entirely. That's Vanderforge. <laughs> Actually, in this apartment, I would dare say that the office wizard would be would be uh, Britannia. Um, but then again, that's also not her field of expertise. I mean, she's extremely smart with computers, though. Like, stupendously smart with computers. Like, um, But I wouldn't necessarily call her purely tech support, right? Hmm... Four times surface target. What is that? Scan the nav beacon on Kempty or use a discovery scanner in order to locate target settlement. Deliver recovered data to Persephone in the Avalon system. The data will be stored in your computer and not require any cargo space. All right. These major actions may be considered legal. I don't really want to do illegal missions. All right, I'll give this a shot. Let's see if I can do this one. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, anyway, let's get underway. Gosh, I forget. I don't know if I remember any of my buttons now that I think about it. <laughs> We're going to give it a go. Here we are. Okay, that was my landing gear button. I remember that. Okay. Okay, which button was my boost? Uh, I forgot. Hang on a second. There it is. 
I remembered the boost button. Okay, so I am away from the mass lock of the station. Alright, where am I meant to go? CD one CD fifty three dash one five six okay or one three six is that somewhere? Hang on a second. Let's uh go to the system map, shall we? That's where I'm at. Probably have to go to the galaxy map actually. Now I think on it. Okay. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. All right. Wait, do I not have the boost to that? And, or hang on. Uh, there we go. All right, we're good. Okay. Remembering my buttons. Remembering the buttons. All right. Off we go. All right, let's see if I can locate this individual and see if I can take them down. I'm a bounty hunter. I'm killing a deserter. Apparently that's a thing that has to happen. Oops. <laughs> there we go. No. Okay. Scan analysis complete, Commander. Your target's last known location has been uploaded to the ship's system. Got it. Thank you. All right. Okay. Let's see if it's in the nav panel. Or not. Hmm. Shipping lanes, CD-53. One, three, six, a five. Is that where I need to be? A five, a five. B. Ah, here we go. Okay. I think this is where I need to go. All right. Yes, yeah, CD from A5 to 5D. What? C5? Oh, God. <laughs> Bonus if I don't die. All right. That's always good. It's always a good, it's always a good uh, goal to have. All right. Let's see. It's actually kind of weird playing this game without my uh, tracker, my head tracker software on. <laughs> But I also kind of have to do that in order to like look at the chat, so that way like my head turning doesn't come off as a little weird or off-putting or hard to watch, because you know, head tracking. Anyway, okay, let's see. All right, so this is the planet I need to be at. Hang on a second. Is that the name of the planet or is the name of the... Alright, hang on a minute. Contacts. Where is that? I 
doubt it's this Imperial Courier. If I had to guess, I probably should get out of Super Cruise. Oh, there are no contacts here. Okay. Hmm. Do I have a discovery scanner on this ship? I forget. Oops, that's the wrong button. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Uh, which button was it for me to change? There we go, analysis. What? Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, goodness. All right. All right. All right. All right. How are I today? I am doing okay. Thank you very much for asking. Hope you're doing all right my as well, my friend. All right. Let's do that. And let's do that. Okay. So it's not here. So let's see. You could be at. Oh, wait. Uh, A5 to C5D. Okay. Let's see. B. C5A, C5D, okay. Let's see if maybe he's out this... Let's see if our target is actually in the, that direction. Oh, whoops. Uh, I forget how to put away my hard points. No. Hang on a second. <laughs> It's been so long. I forgot all my buttons. Reading an article on your website. Looks like Raf Coster just got some more money for playable words. Yes. Yes, I did see that. Playable Worlds has gotten it's like a $22 million, $25 million. It's, it's a pretty chunky, big chunk of change, um, which is awesome. I mean, but also I am one of those folks who are like um, you. That's the button. I'm also like one of those folks who are like, um, maybe is the point where you should start telling us what you're actually going to do as opposed to like talking about it, right? Like show us what you're up capable of. As he hasn't done a whole lot of, he's done a lot of talking and theorizing, which is fine. But at the same time, like after a certain point, you need to stop like pontificating and show us what you're working on. So, I mean, we'll see. But that is a definitely a big, 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 big injection of cash. I have an actual real plan for a game that is so last decade. <laughs> I know, I know. It's it's crazy talk. I'm talking, talking this mad crazy talk. Okay. <laughs> These days, you just collect money. <laughs> yeah. You just present an idea to investment investors or to crowdfunding, and people just toss bank at you. And to heck with the idea of whether it'll actually come happen. Wait, is that him? Don't try and follow me. Are you out here? Hang on a second. Oh, he's there. Oh, that's a fed gunship, too. Hang on a second. 
Am I going the right way? I am going the right way, right? Yes. All I ever wanted was to help people. Oh, okay. Little extra layers to this whole story, hey? Right. Sure, after I saw all the links of other articles about him, I didn't realize that he has been talking for so long and so much. Might be educational to go through it all and see how close and consistent he ends up being on the talk versus the actual game, for sure. I believe he is trying to make some of the sand, some sort of sandbox MMO, and I love sandbox MMO RPGs. Yes, so like sandboxes are his whole bag, right? That's, I mean, you know, oh no, where did it go? Crap! Did I fly? I thought I was flying in the direction of where I needed to go for him. Was I not? Damn! Hang on a second. Oh, man, I'm so lost right now. All right, hang on a second. Let me get let me get back to the planet I was flying away from. I was what? Um, it was A2? A5, all right, okay. There is a five at the top of the list because I'm flying towards it. There we go. All right. Okay. But yes, I mean, if anybody is capable of making some kind of good sandbox, he would be the one to do it. Like he would, I mean, he's got the history and... And, you know, he's he's been talking an awful lot about how so many sandbox MMO devs are making the same mistakes he made. So, like, <laughs> I mean, you would think that he would be very much inclined to prove that he can do it again without making those same mistakes that he himself made and everybody else has been making, right? Oh, my gosh. Where is this dude? I'll be on a line. It's probably a game that he has high respect for. Yeah, I think so. And actually, I'm starting to I'm starting to lean into Albion quite a bit too. I'm actually playing that for this month's uh, Choose My Adventure column, and like, um, it's it's a lot better than I expected it. Actually, I um, I mean, I played it once before, but I also played it at a point where I wasn't really super big on sandbox games like that. But then, like, my time with uh, with um, Star Wars Galaxies kind of, like, opened me up a little bit. And also, like, I just started to appreciate sandbox games a little more as a result of that and, and can kind of feel... I don't know if I... I still kind of tend to prefer theme park MMOs a little more. But um, at the same time, like, I get... I totally understand why sandboxes are held in such high regard for so many people so like you know I get it that's Masher alright one of the only sandbox games that manages to have high population for full loot PvP yep I plan to make all new mistakes this time, or set the new standard for errors. <laughs> all right, that's the scout. That's not my target. Okay. All right.
Pretty sure that's not my boy either. Nope. Sinner, huh? All right. All right, where did that wake go? Hey, Viaero 1969 thank you so very much for that follow, my friend. Good to see you. Thank you incredibly much for that support. Welcome in. Hope you don't mind me kind of aimlessly spinning my wheels here a little bit, so to speak. I am uh, trying to locate a bounty, and uh, it's not going well, got to say. Where is this keel back at? Okay, hang on a second. That's the planet. I'm going to fly into its orbit here if I'm not careful. So let me uh, let me speed up and get past that um, past that uh, atmospheric ring or orbit or orbit ring, I should say. Am I generally out of that? No, not quite. Okay. Yeah, that's the planet. Okay. I guess he, yeah, he waked out. So that's, all right. Damn it. Okay. Okay, let's go to A2. Uh, it doesn't look like our guy is here. I think they flew away. So let's head to A2 and see if maybe I can find them there. But yeah, as uh, back to the topic of Albion Online. Sorry, I got a little distracted. Um, I uh, I'm enjoying it. I, I actually kind of like the War Gloves quite a bit. Now, um, it is a PvP MMO RPG from the very off. So like you know, I'm probably playing it wrong. But their PVE stuff that they've added uh, over the course of the last since the last time I played it has actually been really really good. And the War Gloves are very very fun. Brand new and quite nice, yes. I just like how active they are. Like, you know, they're they're the the amount of skill shots that are you have or the amount of abilities that they have access to, like it feels really good. It feels extremely good. I've been playing Albion since December of twenty fifteen during the first beta. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay, let me go ahead and Go back to the contacts. I think our boy was flying in. Uh, they waked out, didn't they? Oops. Hang on a second. Gonna throttle down. Oops. I am about to get flung. Yep. It's time to do the circle of shame. Here we go. I'm in this planet's gravitational field, and I'm about to get flung backwards. Okay, there we go. I had to practically go in reverse in order to course correct. Okay, sorry. Um, where is my boy? Do another scano. Dethroned Ultima Online for you as my favorite MMO of all time. Wow, that is extremely high praise. Very nice. I'm glad you found that, my friend. Good for you. Good for you. Gosh, I think was Cullen flying a um Cullen was flying an Imperial gunship, right? A fed gunship, actually. So, none of these are him, I suspect. Alright, where is that wake? It's 9,000 light seconds, really? Uh, I'm not honking correctly. I'm not sure how this works. Admittedly, I'm not very good at, like, chasing wakes, so. <laughs> well, Stro, hello, my friend. Good to see you. Hello. Hi. All right. Let me... All right, so A2 is... He is not at A5. He's not at A2. Let's see about A3.
I had him. Like, that's the weird thing. And like, I had the target. Like, he was chatting at me, but I lost him because I'm an idiot. Hello in space. Hello. <laughs> yes. Hi. How are you? Good to see you, my friend. Welcome back. It's wonderful to have you. Thank you so much for joining us. So, uh, yeah. For those who are late coming, I'm trying to, uh, short term, uh, in, right now, anyway, I, I'm trying to pin down, I'm trying to track down a bounty head, a deserter by the name of Cullen. Uh, according to this message here, you could be between, you could be in a shipping lane between CD 53A5 to CD, so. Okay, I think I've got him. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I'm seeing messages from him again. It's not this Imperial Eagle, is it? No. Damn. Where is this dude? Roxwolf, hey! What's good? Hello. Welcome in, my friend. Good to see you. All right, let me circle back around to five. Um, oh man, this is really, really weird. Admittedly, I've not done very many of these missions, even in Horizons, like, um, Shipping lane from CD 53135A5 to 5D. Hey, I'm getting messages. I, no, that's not him either, is it? All right. All right, this guy is over a thousand light seconds away. Let's see if I can get in close and see if I can scan them and find them. I'm terrible at remembering a wake scanner. <laughs> yeah, I actually, actually, do I have a wake scanner installed? Hang on. Nope, I sure the hell don't. I have a worn scanner. I've got a composition scanner. Got the discovery scanner, but I sure as hell didn't include a wake scanner. Yep, that's my problem. <laughs> so the moment they jump out, I'm pretty much just flying blind, quite literally. Discovered a new signal source. All right, let's see. Okay, the uh, the crate just warped out. All right. A five. Right. Okay. That's A five and. Oops. C5D, that was the other location. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be flying back and forth between these planets just completely goofily. I apologize. But yes, I have I have absolutely forgotten to include a wake scanner. <laughs> that was my mistake. It has been a very, very long time since I played this game, so I I apologize for the derp, everybody. I'm gonna do my best though. Let's stand back. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Cullen was flying a Fed gunship. <coughs> T 
Diamondback. Pretty sure that's not our guy. And besides, I got a lot. I got a while to get to where I need to be anyway. I flew in a totally different direction from where I was meant to go. Let's see. I supposedly, like it said, it's, I'm reading this right. It's, it's in the shipping lane between 136A5 to 136C5D. So, so presumably, there's like too many, not too many places you could be. But then again, that assumes like that's uh, that it's also possibly the starting point. It's entirely possible that Cullen is just jumped out to somewhere else completely entirely different. Mm. Well, let me get back to the general orbit of C5D. Doesn't help that they altered some stuff too, like the discovery scanner and the full spectrum scanner. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I only have two weapon groups, right? I didn't assign... Yeah, I didn't assign any of my other scanners to weapon group C. Okay. You need to go from A5 to C5D, and the target ship should be in between those two planets. So you're right, yep. Hey, take care of yourself, Black Boa. Thank you very much for stopping by. I apologize for not catching your goodbye message earlier, my friend. But, uh, hope you have a good day. Okay. So let me get closer to C5D. And check the contacts. All contacts should get in the way, yep. That's what I'm doing. I'm about five minutes away. Better than five minutes away, actually. Hang on a second. Oh, there was... There was an unidentified signal, but it was flying off. It wasn't in my contacts panel. Just a bunch of FSD wakes. Oops, right. That didn't reveal anything new. <laughs> Rando Calician. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for that follow. Good to have you. That's an outstanding username, my friend. Thank you so much for that support. Welcome in. And uh, may the uh, may the deal not alter any further for you. <laughs> that deal is getting worse all the time. That is not our target. But it is a wanted target. So, but that's not our boy. So. So let's see. I'm only about a minute away from C5D now. So. Hopefully. Yeah, still some energy weeks. All right. Hopefully I'll run it. I, I thought I had him. I'm pretty sure that I had him. Because, like, he was sending messages. Let's see. Uh, clearly I'm not the world's best bounty hunter. <laughs> Referencing... Uh, Referencing Star Wars and <laughs> Randall Calrissian. <laughs> I am no Boba Fett by any stretch.
Oh, I'm going. I'm flying away from that target. Hang on a second. Let me get back in that direction. Hey, how you doing? Morton Fink Erickson. Oh, that's not him. That ain't him. All right. Circling back around. Do 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 Whoop. I guess some more speed. I can um I can risk some more speed. Absolutely no context whatsoever. I'll keep an eye on my radar, actually. Let's dial it back just a wee bit. There we go. Nice, gentle approach. My space trucking side is demands that I approach planets at a reasonable speed. I'm such a nerd when it comes to that crap. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, I could just... I literally could just, you know, autopilot everywhere, but I, I don't. I don't auto-dock, I don't autopilot. I do this all manually because I just like flight. I really, really like flight. Space flight, especially. So I'm a huge heckin' nerd in that in that regard. All right. So if there isn't any context that I find in C5D, I'll fly in a straight B line to to A5. Let's see if maybe I can't find the context that way because I'm pretty sure I was just here and there was nobody around. Still nothing on radar. Hmm. Hmm. I do kind of, I do, all right, so, so I said initially that I'm trying to, like, rediscover the things that I enjoy about this game, and I actually kind of like the fact that I am an ignoramus once again. Like, I have to relearn things. Uh, I'm in deep space, not the shipping lane. Yes, you're right. Okay. Okay. I have never played Elite Dangerous, so I'm not sure what it says about the game, but minus the audio, you could probably loop nearly any two-minute chunk of the stream for an hour, and it would look almost the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Sorry about that. Okay, so bottom left, your noted... Deep space. That is not the shipping lane. When you are in the lane, it's noted as shipping lane. Got it. Okay. So I need to find the shipping lane. Okay. All right. Let's get a little more speed here going. Come on. There we go. Hello, planet. Good to see you. Hello. <laughs> All right. Let me um. Let me target. What is it? Oops. It's a five. Let me target a five. And. No need to apologize. With the audio stream is fine. <laughs> Alright, let me circle around here. And see. Am I in the shipping lane? Where is the shipping lane? Hmm. Still in open space. I'm not in any shipping lane. Damn, I... Damn, 
am oh, I'm so heckin' lost. I forgot how this works. Oh my goodness. I completely forgot how this works. Those are different planets and No, I'm still not in a shipping lane according to that panel that was being referenced. Hmm. Well, let me just go ahead and get some speed going here, anyways. Uh, FSD. Oh man, I'm like two and a half hours. Uh, well, now it's now the time is ticking away. I was like, oh no, <laughs> I don't want to be <laughs> aiming at this little star forever. Oh no. Those lanes are a bit capricious, but if the mission states you need to do the route between those two planets, that should be it. Yeah? Okay, I'm in the shipping lane now. There we go. I found it. Okay, I have found the shipping lane. So, I'm where I need to be. All right. Now I just have to keep an eye on my radar, I guess, as well as the contacts panel. Okay, let's keep it at mid in terms of speed. Let's, a little more speed. Yeah, there we go. Now, see, now I'm back in deep space. What the heck? I was just in the shipping lane and now I'm back in deep space. What? What? Did I miss something? Damn. I was just there. <laughs> oh man. I I I swear I'm not being a total moron. I just I was just in the shipping lane and now I'm back in deep space. Crap. Wasn't a matter of angle, right? Or am I hang on a second. Is that the No. No. Wait, are they not aligned? Is that what I was doing? There we go. No? No? No, that's still... Still not the shipping lane. I'm still considered deep space. Damn. Damn, this is hard, dude. <laughs> space is hard. <laughs> Wanted to say log out and log in again. Chances are he will once again show up in nearby hyperspace. Game is pretty basic simulation as far as those things go, I'm afraid. Ah, uh, you know what? You might be right. Let's give that a shot. Okay. Why not? Hang on a second. Let's give that an all right, you know what? That's that's a fair, you know what? That's a that's a fair uh suggestion, Rando. Let's give that a shot. And yes, I play on the Mobius PvE server. Oops. Okay. Scan complete, Commander. Your target's last known location is uploaded to your ship's system. All right. All right. Oh, now it's now it's literally like lit up. That was not the case before. Personally, I still like this game, but mostly shipping, skipping the Odyssey parts as my old PC can't handle them. Yeah, I I used to at least be able to play Odyssey. It didn't work wonderfully, but at least it was playable. Now, not so much with that. Like, it's, I was literally going to be playing Odyssey, but um, I was just standing in a, in a, in a station, and it just died. Like, it literally died. Oh, am I in? Oh, I'm not in hyperspace. 
Hang on a second. I just realized I'm in regular space as opposed to super cruise. Whoops. My bad. Okay. There it is. There he is. Oh, he's going away from me. Hang on a second. Ugh. Come back here. Come back here. There he is. Got him. He's in a wing. Oh. Oh, he's in a wing of two. Okay. And dude is absolutely hauling away from me. Oh my god. Come back here, you. <laughs> I'm back here. Get back here. I'm coming for you, Cullen. Can't believe this gunship is faster than me. These things are usually flying bricks. What the hell? Switch cockpit mode into combat if you want to interdict. Ah, thank you. Yes. But I don't have an interdictor. Also, I should probably switch to my weapons. Here we go. Okay, we're working it out. Hope he'll drop out somewhere on his own. Yeah, that's uh, that's a problem. Damn, I didn't know I had to. Uh, that makes sense, actually. Now to think about it, I I don't have interdiction, so like ripping my target out of hyperspace or or supercruise, I should say, would make sense. Damn, I just made an absolute dog's breakfast of this mission, eh? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I own the expansion too. Just when it loads, goes like 5 FPS at best. Sometimes even freezes on loading. Horizons works fine and seems to run easy, though. Yep. That's on me, though. I got an AM3 CPU with 12 gigabytes of RAM and 240 with 3 gigabytes of ERAM. Yeah, that's fair. It's 2011. You know, it is what it is. It's fine. Not too unlikely he'll drop out by himself. Okay, well, maybe if I keep tailing him, I'll be all right then. We'll see. A lot of MMOs, though, like ESO. Yeah, you know what? That's, that's, that's another thing I really like about MMOs in general. It's like, for the most part, they're not too intensive in terms of resources or hardware. For the, for the most part. There's, so there's some exceptions to the rule, of course. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh... You're not wrong. And Horizons runs wonderfully. I don't have a particularly fire-breathing system either. I don't have my specs immediately committed to memory. But, like, I was able to run Odyssey fine before. But before this stream, I was just standing in a station and it just... I just crashed out. Like, it just straight crashed the desk without me doing anything. So, you know. CPU is weird. Is this one of those triple core ones? Usually... It's dual or quad. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, the triple core. How? Oh, triple core. I mean, that's. So yeah, I, I think like most modern CPUs are, are quad core, right? Something like that. All right, Cullen, where? Come on. Come on, my dude. I'm going to run you down, buddy. All right, let me let me throttle down just a little bit. I don't want to overtake him, just in case he does drop out of super. But um, I think I'm matching his speed just a little more. There we go. That's a speed match right there. That's his speed match for the most part. Oh no, he's oh. Did he drop out? No. No, he's... 
Oh, maybe he did drop out. All right, let's see if I can... Let's see if he's out here. No, he's not. Crap! Damn it. Okay, got cool down. My FSD isn't cool down because I forced it. I forced out a super... Ah, crap. I probably lost him now. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that's right. Lower... That's right. It would drop it. Yeah, that, it would drop a low wake, wouldn't it? Okay, here's hoping I haven't lost him. If I have, then I'm just going to call that a wrap, frankly. You should try X4 someday if you like space sandboxes. Oh, I don't think I would, actually. <laughs> um, that is a strategy game, and I have the tactical acumen of a snail. Like, legitimately. I appreciate the suggestion, but, uh, yeah, I don't think that'll work out for me. But thank you very much for the thought. I truly appreciate it. And I think I have lost our boy. Yeah, I think I lost your boy. Quadrocta is becoming normalized. Ah. The Chris GG, thank you very much for the follow. Hello, my friend. Good to see you. Yep, I've, I've lost him. Damn it. Ah, I'm bad at this. So bad at this. The sim, but has strategy elements in the late game where you get your own stations. Ah, okay. All right. Okay, see, that's that sounds more... I was pretty sure that X4 was like a, a strategy. Like, primarily a strategy game. and Or like a 4X strategy game. And I am just... Mm-mm. Mm-mm, baby. I ain't, one, I ain't good at that. <laughs> Early to mid game is closer to ED gameplay, but you can get out from ship to repair. Oh, neat. Okay. All right. That's that might be something. That could be something. Is that our boy again? Hang on a second. There he is. All right. I got him. All right. I found him again. Okay. I'm on his trail once more. Explore abandoned space stations and stuff. Such nice. I like that. That's cool. Very sophisticated, but no multiplayer and less visual polish than ED. Ah, well, that's fair. I don't care about visual polish too, too terribly much, to be very honest. Most video games don't touch more than two cores of support uh, of potatoes. <laughs> Look, I am all for the potato support. As an owner of a potato, I am 100% for it. Whoa, I'm going to fling by it. Whee! Okay, so time to do the circle of shame on my target. That was a bad... That was a... That was good stuff. Ah, damn it. And I lost him. Crap! Or has he dropped out? He hasn't waked out, has he? Nope. I just blew... I just blasted by him. There he is. Okay. Got him again. Man, I, I should... Ah, all right. Word to... Note to self. Put an interdictor on this heckin' thing. <laughs> because clearly I need to. All right, Cullen. What are you doing, my dude? You're just kind of sitting there. Oh, did he wake out? Yes, he did. Okay. Damn it. Is he not here? Ah. Okay. So he dropped... But I'm not seeing him. There's nothing on radar, nothing on contacts. Oh, I should have dropped the... Oh, damn it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I didn't know I had to do that. Ah, damn it. I'd had to target his wake. That makes sense. Of course I would have to target his wake. So it's probably gone now, right? Let's see. Uh, 
Uh, space is big. <laughs> it is pretty large, yeah. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, all right. Live and learn, though. I, I, you know what? I don't. I guess this is a fail. I'll go ahead and add one to the death counter as a result. That's uh that's a failure. But I actually came away from this learning something, which is good. It's a, it's and that's the big thing that kind of got me hooked into this game in the first place. Is like because I dropped into this game like an absolute buffoon, but through the help of my very very good friend Britarnia, as well as folks like yourself, Rando, like just and you know player tools and stuff like that. I started to figure things out a little bit, a little bit at a time, like incremental personal progress. I, I wasn't, I haven't gotten any close to any sort of the, you know, major goals, for example, but, um, but I learned something. You can't even imagine how big it is. I mean, you may think it's a long way down the road to the channels, but that's just peanuts in space. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. I, I, okay. Okay. All right. But I, I, again, back to my point, I, I feel like I've learned something and that's, that was always been the draw for this game for me is like, I, I was slowly figuring things out and I was learning as a result. I'm cautiously optimistic that Starfield will be a good game. Seems it will be a sandboxy max effect. That would be nice. That would be extremely nice. Also, I just remember that I have like my targeting buttons mapped to my Hotas. So, you know, <laughs> it's been a while. I apologize. You might be able to fit into the smallest of things as long as they remain infinitely divisible. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call that a wrap for today's stream. But thank you so very much to everybody for joining me. I truly do appreciate it. I hope you will join us later on tonight because I will be joining MJ at 8 o'clock Eastern for some backseat streaming. I don't know what game she's got lined up for us. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to that, and I hope you will be too. And then on Thursday the 21st at 9.15, MJ will be live with some Neverwinter. So be sure to tune in for that. And then on Friday, the 22nd, it's a double dose of MJ streamage. She'll be doing some Warframe at 2 p.m. Eastern, followed by Adventure Quest 3D at 8 p.m. Eastern. Thank you so very much to everybody for joining me. Thank you especially to Randall Calrissian for the attempt at helping my silly, silly, silly self. Uh, truly appreciate it. And thank you to everybody for all the support that you provide to what we do here at OPTV and Massively Overpowered in general. Whether you are watching the stream live or on demand, whether you're reading what we have to write on MassivelyOP.com, or if you're one of the generous folks who do things like subscribe to the channel, donate bits, whitelist the ads on the website, or if you're one of our amazing Patreon supporters, no matter what you do top to bottom, you are the fuel that keeps Massively OP running. Thank you so much for your support and love, and we'll hope to see you later on tonight with some backseat streaming. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Take care. Bye!